Shifting focus now to news coming in from our neighbourhood from Pakistan where elections were held yesterday. Voting was happening yesterday. Counting is underway. We are given to understand former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, has won from the Lahore NA seat. He has won this uh, for the Punjab Assembly, not of course for uh, the National Assembly. This is what we are now learning. Trends are trickling in, coming in from Pakistan. Uh, depending on who you ask the question to, the answer differs of who exactly is leading as far as those elections go. Several people say that these trends cannot be taken uh, at face value given the track record that we've seen of the army's involvement even in democratic elections. Abhishek, my colleague, now joining us, getting us the latest. Abhishek, we're given to understand that Nawaz Sharif has won from his seat, but this is for uh, the Punjab Assembly and not the national one? Yes, the Nawaz Sharif has won for the National Assembly and Shabazz Sharif, his younger brother, has won for the Punjab uh, Provincial Assembly. This is what the uh, initial informations are coming in. And this is happening after initial train have shown that uh, both the brothers were trailing. Uh, but now, uh, after this, uh, the, the accusation by the PTI uh, that there has been a massive rigging uh, in the results, uh, now these results have started coming in where uh, since the morning where uh, now, uh, at a number of seats, Election Commission of Pakistan has started declaring victorious candidates' name, and Nawaz Sharif and Shabazz Sharif has uh, been victorious. Uh, Marib Nawaz Sharif, the daughter of uh, Nawaz, Nawaz Sharif, has also won uh, her seat. Uh, we'll have to see from here onwards how the next government in Pakistan will shape up, because uh, it doesn't look like that any single uh, political party is poised for having a uh, uh, you know simple majority. Uh, and which party will be largest and which all will form a coalition uh, that remains to be seen. Now there are allegations of unfair conduct of rigging of the army's involvement as well, Abhishek. So even when the results do become clearer, doubts are going to be cast on how fair they were. Oh, well, that could be a case because uh, many media organizations, many uh, Pakistan's many uh, experts have also uh, cast their doubts whether the rigging has happened in the, in the, in the result declaration. Uh, because the results were expected uh, in late night, but for the uh, by, by by the night when it was looking like PTI is leading on many seats across the country, uh, strangely the results declaration was stopped. And after about eight to nine hours of pause, the results declaration has started in the early morning. Election Commission of Pakistan has not said anything about that. Uh, mobile phones were uh, jammed across the nation for a for number of hours. And they, there are allegations from PTI workers that there has been massive rigging uh, in, de in, in, in announcing the, the, the polls to ensure that the favor goes to the parties which have sided along with the military camp and not uh, in favor of the PTI member uh, workers who were uh, struggling hard in absence of their party leader, in absence of their party symbol, and still uh, managed to garner a huge amount of uh, support across the country. Right, Abhishek, thank you so much for getting us the latest on that. Do keep a track of what transpires.